A hopeful sign for those who've ever sat in traffic along the Grand Strand. The Grand Strand Area Transportation Study is about to give final approval for five new changeable message signs. They're variable message boards which will display um, the time from your current location to the destination. Chris Clark with the Waccamaw Regional Council of Government says if approved, we'd see two of the signs on Highway 501, one on Highway 22, and two on US 17. So these five locations are, are, are strategically placed so that they're at decision points. So you could choose, do I want to go on 501 or do I want to go on 544? And so that if there's an incident or there's some congestion on 501 and 544 is going to be quicker for you, uh, you're provided with that information in real time. I think it's good for the commuter. They know how long it takes to get to work or get home wherever they got to be when they have to be at a certain place at a certain time. Clark says purchasing and installing the signs will cost about $1 million. He says 80% of that will come from the federal government and the rest from the state gas tax. A price some drivers say is too much. So I think it is a waste of money, especially with our uh, government at this point. We don't have money. We need to put it where it is necessary.